Hello and welcome to this video. In this one, we're looking at these TP-Link Deco Mesh Wi-Fi system. This particular set is a uh, three unit package of the Deco M4, which are AC 1200 speeds. So these are uh, mesh wireless access points. So instead of having one single router that broadcasts your network, you have multiple that you can place around. They can wirelessly connect back to each other, or you can even hardwire them back or you can place them somewhere that you've got a hardwired device that you need to connect. This will connect wirelessly and then you can come out on Ethernet. So this is quite a flexible good product. This is the Deco M4 three piece set. So this should cover up to 4,000 square foot apparently or 370 square meters. Obviously this is gonna be an ideal best case and you'll probably never get that in the real world when you deploy these things. These are gonna be connected back to this Deco X50 which is a uh, DSL router this is the main unit that we're going to have deployed and uh, this will all work together in a, a large house so this is just a quick unboxing and uh, sort of overview of them and setting them up with that maybe so you can see on the box it says fast stable everywhere Wi-Fi dead zone killer connects up to 100 devices little asterisk gigabit ethernet ports which means the ports on the unit are 1 gigabit per second capable and it has enhanced drill band speeds, which is wireless 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So on the side of the box, you've got here Deco uh, whole home mesh Wi-Fi system, AC1200 Deco M4. So the specs for these are up to 300 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band and 867 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band. The mesh protocol it uses, which is 802.11kVr. Then various other details, which I'm not going to go into too much, but the support access point mode um, guest network which allows you to set up a totally different wi-fi for people visiting um, so they can't access any other devices or anything else on your network just the internet you have ipv6 the use ethernet backhaul as an option which means you can hardwire these back to the main router unit uh, and they also have one and LAN auto sensing whether it's uplink or whether it's a, a computer connected to them or a TV or something. There's some dimensions there and a little bit of information on the uh, setup app which I've already got installed and I did previously in my other video on the router but I'll show you adding one of these to that in a moment. The other side of the box it's just got the same kind of details as the front and on the back here We've got flash mesh Wi-Fi for your old home. A diagram here showing how you can spread them out to be used. Um, you could use just this set uh, and use one of these as a router, I believe. Um, and then remotely two base stations. You don't need the full-on router device, I don't think. Uh, but we do in our case. Because of it being in the UK, we have uh, telephone internet connections. And this has got a VDSL modem, which allows you to connect to the uh, telephone line. So you can see it says simplest way to guarantee strong Wi-Fi in every corner of your home and your fast stable connections for an army of devices in homes up to 4,000 square foot. Setup's made easy with the Deco app to walk you through every step. I must admit the app was quite good when I have just used it to set the other unit up. So inside here, I'm just going to open the end, I've just cut the uh, seal. So uh, we've got a carton in the box in this one, so if I slide this out. So there we go, we're instantly greeted with the three deco units. Let's take this end one out. So this is the uh, deco unit itself. Let's take the uh, unit out of the bag so we can have a quick look at that. So there it is. It's quite clean, it's got the TP-Link logo on the front of it. On the top we've just got this sort of D-shaped pattern with the vents. I'm assuming that these are ventilation. Yes, they are. And this looks of things. Um, then it goes around the back. We've got the TP-Link logo again. The two Ethernet connection ports there. One and two labelled. Then looking around the bottom of the unit, we've got various details, which is the model, which is a Deco M4REU version 3. The SSID, which is the wireless name this would output for setup purposes. Uh, and there's also going to be a power input socket here, which is there underneath. And there's a pinhole reset button. So you could put a paper clip or something in to reset it or hold it to factory reset. There's a little uh, gap here 
for the cable to go through for power to keep things neat and tight. Also in the bottom of the box we've got a quick installation guide, which this has got many languages and just guides you through the setup. We've also got an ethernet cable. It appears that there's only the one ethernet cable though, but we'll just take the other two units out. Yes, so you get one ethernet cable. That's for wiring your main unit back. If you wanted to link more, you'd have to provide your own cables, but you would probably want long length ones. There's three boxes with the power symbols on. These are going to be the power supplies for the unit. We've got a power plug. Obviously, this will depend on your region. This is 12 volts at 1.2 amps power supply, and it's got a generous length of cable, I would say. Um, probably more than comes with the router unit that I've already unboxed, the uh, X50. Yeah, actually, it's about the same length. Um, so we've got, like I say, a couple of meters of cable there. Okay, so I'm just going to put the others in the box and I'm just going to show the setup for one remote unit in this case. So I'll just pop these two in. These are for deploying at a friend's house, so I'll probably make a video down the line on deploying them. He has uh, lots of issues with his connection at the moment and he's using two uh, mismatched routers to connect with the same name on them, but his phone stays connected to the one that's further away instead of automatically switching and all kinds of problems. Hopefully these should resolve that kind of problem. So the power goes in the bottom here, like that. I've got a little hole there where it comes out the back. And if we plug this into power, I think we'll try a wireless setup to the unit because that's probably how most people are going to want to deploy these. We've connected that to the power. We've got a little uh, illuminated logo on the top of that. That's quite nice. This is the uh, main X50 router unit here, which I'm going to connect it back to. This has just got a little light on the front. This unit is a lot faster and supports Wi-Fi 6, uh, 3000 megabit. These are only 1200, um, but these are just remote base stations, so we're not too bothered. We just want good coverage versus fast coverage. So with that now set up uh, and starting up, I can see how it's yellow. Uh, the yellowy orange colour on the other unit was startup process and then it starts flashing blue when it's ready. I'm assuming it'll be the same for this. Yes, as it's just started flashing blue now. Okay, so I'll start the screen recording. And if I go onto the Deco app now, I'll put these both over here so you can see them. If I go to the top corner of the app here, you can do add a Deco unit create a new network, replace main deco, etc. I'm going to add a deco unit. These are M4, so I'm going to search for M4. There it is. Find a suitable spot. Select the layout that looks like your home and will tell you where the best place is to place the decos. So one floor, we'll show you them scattered like that. Two floors, three floors. So depending on how many levels you've got, it advises you know one on the ground floor, one on the middle floor, one on the top floor, in order for them to find the best path. Anyway, I'm just going to select one floor because I'm doing these both on my desk. So, plug it in, wait until it pulses blue, which it's doing now. Next. It's found the unit. I'm just going to leave this set to bedroom again because, again, this is just a test. I'm going to move them slightly further apart, though. It's been added. Done. So, that appears to be it. It's still blue on the top, which must mean uh, that it's operational. A solid blue light for this one. Whereas it goes green on this unit, this goes yellow, blue and green. Um, so, it's showing on the main unit, I'm still connected to that. And on the other one, I'm not connected to that at the moment. The way I'm going to have to do this is I'll probably have to move, oh it's gone white now, I'll probably have to move the main unit over that way as far as I can and then the, my phone might hop to that but we'll see. Huh, so this has gone red, now I've moved the other unit. We couldn't find the deco, make sure your deco's powered on, move the deco closer to the deco you've already set up, check the status again. Oh, no it's just gone white again. Maybe it just needed to adjust itself when I've moved them, with it being further apart now. 
but this is now wirelessly connected back to the main unit that's uh, about two meters that way, two or three meters, and on the floor, as far as I can get it. I'm just gonna go check again. Okay, it's found it again, the signal's strong. So in order to connect to it, I might have to come off the Wi-Fi, turn my Wi-Fi off, and then turn it back on again. So I'll just restart the Wi-Fi on my phone and see which it grabs. If I refresh the page, it's showing Wi-Fi 6 at the top, so I think it's connected to the main unit again. Instead of the remote one. It has, yes. Okay, so I can't really demo this um, wirelessly connecting through the two units, unfortunately. But at least I've been able to show you the setup. Um, I'll follow this up with another video if I can. When I deploy them at my friend's house. I will try and make a video of the setup process there and do some speed testing of them placed remotely. But for this unboxing video and quick setup video that shows you how to add one to another unit using the application and uh, shows you what's in the box and a bit of information on these things. If you'd like any more details, uh, I've got any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please do leave a like uh, and get subscribed to my channel for future random technology videos like this one. Thanks for watching.